to be interesting. I think, and I usually don't always make things this simplistic, but sometimes they are. It's going to come down to who wants it more. Who's a little tougher mentally? A couple good right hands from Rossi here. No grabbing. Great. There you go. Of course, both Rossi's losses came by KO, so there's questions about his chin. And of course, both knockout losses to Rossi represented two times he really stepped up in class of opposition. So the question tonight, is he up in class? Stepped up against Eddie Chambers back in 07, was TKO'd in the seventh, and then May 2008, went over to Germany and fought Alexander Demetrenko and was stopped in the fifth. And of course, Eddie Chambers just absolutely dismantled Demetrenko recently, and Chambers now in prime position in the heavyweight rankings. Behind the Klitschko brothers, Alexander Povetkin, your heavyweight, and then comes Chambers. Right now, Rossi not acting like the bigger, physically stronger heavyweight, you know, the naturally larger heavyweight. He's acting like a lightweight. He's moving around, he's boxing a little bit, and again, that's his temperament. His temperament's not to go and attack you. It's to be careful, it's to box. He's, he's not sure enough in those quarters. But the positive side of that is Rossi's using his size on the outside, his reach. That's a good thing. Punch track numbers. You see Rossi outworking Drummond, throwing 144. The smaller man, Drummond, backing up the bigger man. But backing him up, not being effective. Not backing him up behind a jab, Joe. Not moving his hands enough as Mr. Drummond. Rossi getting away with a lot. Being allowed to stay on the outside, be a little cute. Even there, little turn, he's mm -hmm. feeling, you know, he's feeling good right now. Confidence from Derek Rossi, the former Boston College Eagle star defensive lineman. We asked him to tell us the difference between the individual side of boxing and the team concept of football. The team aspect compared to the one one I have a definite grip on it. Definitely now. Uh, I mean, prior before fights, I mean, I'm taking a nap in there. I mean, finally for me, it's like going into that ring is like finally walking. I needed that experience. I needed that feeling of confidence in myself. And uh, with football, I mean, you got all your friends picking you up. If you mess up, you got someone else patting you on the back, get up, keep going. In the ring, obviously, with one-on-one -on -one sports in general, you know, you have a team, but they're in the corner, you know. But when you're in the competition, it's you, you know. I mean, and that's what, that was the biggest thing I thought I needed to grasp. And uh, it took a while for me to find it, but it's here. Started his pro boxing career back in 2004, and now, here in 2009, this is the stage of his career where he says he finally feels like he's a professional fighter. Well, it's easy to feel and perform like a pro when you're being left alone, taking nothing away from Rossi's preparation, what he's doing tonight, but if you're left alone like Drummond's leaving Rossi alone, you could go out there and act like you're Muhammad Ali. Rossi's averaging 52 punches around so far. Drummond, 35. Teddy Atlas's scorecard has it a clean sweep so far for Derek Rossi. Now, let's not forget, as Drummond falls behind, at least on my scorecard, falls behind in this fight, if he starts moving his hands, there's always hope. I mean, Rossi, he's been on the floor with a 46-year-old Ray Mercer. And as we said, both his losses by KO. But you can't KO somebody. I haven't seen it yet, Joe. I've been around boxing a long time. Haven't seen anyone KO'd by a guy that doesn't move his hands. That's stop, right. Stop the break. Unless you count the phantom punch, of course, that famous punch by Ali with Sonny Liston in the second fight. In Maine. But there was a punch thrown. There the was. question with that was the most misunderstood <laughs> photograph of all time. <laughs> hey, it's easy to get cocky. It's easy to, you know, start crowing a little bit in there as Rossi's starting to crow a little bit in there. Again, when you have a guy like Drummond who's walking around, he's following you, he's not cutting the ring down, he's coming in very slow, very predictably, and he throws punches like he pays for them. And by the way, he's a cheapskate. Mm -hmm. There's a one-two from Rossi.
You can start to knock Rossi a little bit almost now because Drummond's leaving him alone, Joe, but now Rossi's slowing down He's the punch right count. You don't slow the punch count down if the other guy's not working. Build it up. Take advantage of those opportunities. You never know. You start leaving him alone, maybe he'll get a little braver. Maybe he'll suddenly start throwing punches. There's a wide sweeping right hand. And you see the grabbing in there? Again, the bigger Rossi doesn't have the confidence to work on the inside. Throws the right hand, then he grabs. Not looking to really work. Looking to do most of his work, what you would think of as a lighter fighter on the outside. Maybe the temperament of a welterweight and a lightweight in a heavyweight's body. Again, nothing coming from Drummond, and these eight rounds are pretty easy to score. For the flurry there, end of four. Friday night fights at the Hard Rock in South Florida. Good fight card, good main event still to come. Victor Cayo and Julio Diaz. Right now our heavyweight co-feature, and let's look at the average punches landed in the last two rounds. You talked about the lack of work rate from Carl Davis Drummond. 20 to nine advantage for Derek Rossi. Let's bring in a man very familiar with Derek Rossi, TKO'd him a couple years back, and that is, of course, Eddie Chambers, Ring Magazine's number three heavyweight in the world. Eddie, first off, congratulations after your recent win against Alexander Demetrenko. Size up what you're seeing out of Derek Rossi. You know him well, you were in the ring with him. What do you see out of him tonight? Rossi, well, in evolving as a fighter, he's, uh, he's learning more. You can see he's, a, he's boxing a lot better, moving around the ring, using ring generalship as opposed to when we fought uh, some years back, just trying to you know, muscle, muscle through and just because he's the bigger man, you know, just attack, attack, attack. Now he's thinking his way through the fight, you know, making good decisions, using his jab, feints. He's doing everything right now. Yeah, of course he's doing all that, Eddie. He's not in there with Eddie Chambers. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right about that. <laughs> a little easier when you're in there with a guy who's not throwing punches at you, isn't it? That's, that's definitely true. If you're just standing there taking punches, it's a lot easier to land in the league. <laughs> Eddie Chambers with us all night long. Thanks, Eddie. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. There's a lead uppercut. Came back with a right hand uppercut. Did Rossi. And right now, Rossi's just walking, drumming around the ring, and that's all he's doing. He's navigating. He's not really out fighting Drummond, even though he's out working him, but he's out maneuvering him. He's walking him into things. He's moving around the ring, keeping Drummond off balance, which is not hard to do because Drummond keeps himself off balance. He just doesn't throw. But Rossi, you can see, has a little bit of a plan. Stays on the outside, tries to pick Drummond coming in. Which is not what he had early in his career when he described himself as not being a professional fighter yet, still being a guy making the transition. Yeah, and, and you see right here, again, he's pot shot. You know, he's looking for his spots, he's sneak attacking, the uppercut. With a little more confidence, he could get more done because, and I'm sure Eddie would agree with this, just a moment ago, Rossi landed a nice uppercut, mm -hmm. but he grabbed on the inside instead of looking to work. And again, that's his lack of amateur background, that's his lack of confidence. But he's growing a little bit as this fight goes on. But again, you can see on the inside, not a lot of work from the big Rossi. Still another successful round here. Out of Derek Rossi. And everything being done for the most part on the he has to be careful there, Joe. A little reaching in could yep. be an opportunity by Drummond. See if Drummond can pick up on that and catch him one. There is Julio Diaz, the former two-time titleist at a critical juncture in his career. He'll be in our main event tonight against Victor Cayo, 20.